But the housekeeping around our fruit is, have you ever like bought fresh fruit and you've got this beautiful bowl of fresh fruit and then you come downstairs the next morning and you're like, what the heck just happened? Right. I have a whole, um, you know, lineage. I have a genealogy. I have a whole like array of fruit flies around it. I have their aunts and uncles and right. moms and dads. <laughs> and it and, all happened and overnight. Their generations and it all happened overnight. <laughs> well, here's Plow and Hearth and they have zoomed in to save the day. Nancy Bram Mueller is bringing us from Plow and Hearth the solution to getting rid of those fruit flies because we love to enjoy our fruit, but the fruit flies give me the heebie-jeebies. So I agree. Show us our choices and then talk sure. to us about how this works. Exactly. So, you know, Plow and Hearth likes to give you an idea that's yeah. going to take care of a solution, but do it beautifully. So here we have a fruit fly trap that's made out of glass. They're really beautiful. And this is our pear option, and that's made out of crackle glass. Each one has pretty. a little stopper. Very, very pretty to put it out on your, your um, counter, and it's at the ready to do a job. Nice. In the center, we have our apple, which is a beautiful red apple, and it's also made out of crackle, crackle. glass. Mm -hmm. And then next to you here, we have our pineapple, which I think is so charming. And that's a little bit more of like a hobnail design right there. But no matter which one you choose, they're going to do a job that very often we don't know how to take care of, which right, is fruit flies. This. Exactly, you're trying to get them, you can't get them, right. and you don't want to use toxins or anything. So what you're going to do with this is get a, a recipe for a solution that you're going to put inside. And that's something you have pretty much in your cabinets, I would imagine apple cider vinegar, water, and a little bit of that liquid dish soap. You're going to mix that together, a one-to-one -one and a couple of drops, and then you're going to put it inside, maybe about a tablespoon. Your, the fruit flies are going to be drawn to this, and Rachel said it perfectly. It's like putting the cheese in a mouse trap. That is going to draw those fruit flies into there because they love that smell. Right. Make sure, though, that you're getting rid of the fruit. If you have, like, rotting fruit or you have something in your garbage disposal, right. run that garbage disposal, wash it out, get rid of the fruit. I had a potato that was rotting in the back of my pantry. I and didn't, didn't realize it was back okay. there. So until I got rid of that, I still had the fruit flies. But get rid of the problem, then let this do do the work. You know what, and that's the thing. Here's what I love, and in the video, I think we saw it. So what I love is that you've got these beautiful bowls of fruit, mm -hmm. and then you have your beautiful little secret Secret um, weapon, and right. secret weapon, right? Right and there. Yes. And so it yes. looks all pretty next to the to the fruit rolls. You get to enjoy your fruit, and of course, you get to get rid of the fruit flies in a in a way that isn't going like this to fruit right. flies or spraying or mm -hmm. what have you, um, bringing chemicals around your food. I think it's total genius. Right. And I it love is. that you are just going to go come hither, little fruit <laughs> right. flies, in a quiet way, in a way that you've got the ingredients pretty. in your pantry, mm -hmm. and it's super pretty. And now, after you've done all that, how do you wash it out? Out and then you're gonna because you're gonna have to keep doing this right probably right? about if you have a really bad problem I'd okay. say about every other day you want that to continue to smell good to them okay so all you're going to do is just take the stopper off mm -hmm. rinse it got you know it. under the sink you've got a hole underneath here I'll like go this can you see that little my finger in yeah, there I can see so there is a hole in there and there's a little reservoir so you're just gonna rinse it out yep. dump it out yep. put more of that solution in right to be that cheese in the mouse trap yeah and they're going to be drawn to this they fly up underneath so then they get stuck in there. That's sure. what that liquid dish soap is for. That sort of makes it mm -hmm. a little bit sticky. So it is stuff that you have in your pantry. And also, I have a video on my Facebook page, oh, Nancy good. B for QVC, yeah. that shows you how to do it. There also is a recipe that comes along with it. Some people like to put a little wine in there. If you want to give up a little bit of your wine, oh, you can okay. do that. Something sure. that's just going to pull them in right. and be that bait to draw them into this. So um, at Plow and Hearth, this is $19.95 here we're close to $3 less. So that's always great, you know, to save a little bit of money and, and that $3 adds up uh, as you're purchasing many different things. The other thing is that I wanted to say that it's Friday and we yes. got a little extra love for you on Friday. Nice. So if you want to pick this up on your QVC card, normally with your QVC card, you can make anything you want to three easy payments. Well, until midnight tonight, you can make anything on your QVC card four easy payments, except for gift cards. So that means four easy payments of $4 and change to get this home. I see this as a great gift. And that, you Isn't know, that beautiful? the yep. other thing that I uh, love about it is that actually it's appropriate for every house right. across in any part of the right. nation. Because right. unless the whole household doesn't love fruit, 
mm -hmm. you know, this actually is gonna work with everybody. So there are those people that we buy things for, the, that hard to purchase for person. I think it's beautiful, but also it's got a function to it as well. Right. And it's something that they wouldn't necessarily think of and they will so thank you. They'll be so grateful, for, yes. Yes, mm -hmm. for giving this to them because frankly, until I saw this, I didn't even know we had anything. I've, I've been doing this the whole time. I know, I know. I know. And there's shoot, no way you shoot, can get them all, or, right? Or, or I'm dumping out a whole bowl of fruit and right. I know it's not bad. I right. just can't stand the fruit fly. So I'm like, right. um, this has to go. I feel like you multiplied overnight. I don't know how you came here. I feel like you spontaneously combusted. That's you, right. That's I mean, right. I'm like, you just came upon us and I have no idea why. Exactly. And yep. that really is, you really can't tell you no. know, that they're going to be there. You buy your fruit at the fruit stand. You go to the grocery yes. store. You think you're doing something wonderful for yourself and your family, something very healthy. But right. then, you you know, everybody has faced it. You face those fruit flies and you want to do something that's beautiful, but it's going to take care of the problem. And it's not going to look like you've got this trap on your on your counter. So the pineapple knee means welcome. Um, mm -hmm. uh, and we love how this is. This is about six and three quarters of an inch high. There are about three and a half inches in diameter. They vary just a little bit, right. just to give you some kind of specs. The apple for teacher, the apple for, you know, everybody that we totally love. I just love this, it's so pretty. And then the pear, which is really lovely too. And so that might be about six and three quarter inch high, the same as the, uh, as the, the pineapple. pineapple as mm -hmm. well. The item number is M49063. Remember, this is a fruit fly magnet. And right. it is going to help going you to get rid of the here. fruit flies. Exactly. So what you're going to do is you're going to make up your solution. It does come with a recipe, but you have it in your cabinet. Apple cider vinegar, same part water, couple of drops of the liquid dish soap. Put it inside. It's only about a tablespoon that goes into that reservoir in the bottom, but that's what's going to draw those fruit flies in and clear it out of your kitchen or your family room, wherever you've got it. Sure. Make sure to throw away whatever it is that the fruit is that's rotting that kind of they came from in the beginning because people often kind of forget that they've got to get rid of right. that source. Right, you do. Then they're drawn to this fruit fly trap. So then you just put this out. It's beautiful. No one knows you're trying to get rid of a problem. Right. And even when you don't have the problem it's lovely on your counter it looks so beautiful my mother has lots of beautiful crystal mm -hmm. statuary right. sitting around and a lot of people like to decorate with that so how pretty to have something that's lovely on your counter but then when you need it because we all know sometime between now Absolutely. and the fall you're going to your need bananas it. Mm -hmm. right the bananas Use, are a big huge culprit right. what else is a big culprit uh, strawberries, strawberries any kind of soft fruit oh, pears yes just what we, anything that you have that's a fruit the fruit flies are going to be coming from. So, yep. and remember, this is Plow and Hearth, so mm -hmm. you know that oh, yes. brand name. Yes. Um, we love it. Go ahead. I mean, we're leaving, but that's go right. Ahead. Oh, out of Madison, Virginia, always creating beautiful, wonderful things to enhance your home, enhance your garden, and they created these. These are designed by Plow and Hearth, so they're the ones who came up with this beautiful idea to help you get rid of a problem we all face, but in a non-toxic way. In a really pretty way. So yes. it's like um, it's like cheese to a mouse, right? Yes, so you it just is. put the little cheese in there, which is that recipe that we all have in our in our pantry and then you've got this beautiful beautiful piece that is actually getting rid of that problem of thank right. you nancy i You're really welcome. appreciate it and the recipe comes with it oh yay mm -hmm. so um we're gonna keep going this is my hour of summertime fun i'm rachel bozing thanks so much for joining me on this friday night i'm here every friday night from nine to midnight eastern time and now i'm gonna take a load off and in fact i'm gonna feel very lovely of course because you are. Because I'm with my, with my dear friend, well, you're already lovely Perillo. here. Absolutely. But you know what? <laughs> when you are in a rocking chair, I mean, maybe it's just that it's so primal, like that your first instinct of a rocking chair, or instance rather, is with your mom, and you were a child, and oh. she was rocking you in a rocking chair. Like, I would Definitely. curl up in my mom's lap, mm -hmm. and she would have me, and like, maybe we'd read a story. Uh -huh. So we'd read, like, I don't know, the Berenstein Bears. <laughs> oh, we watch that right? now, exactly. girlfriend. It's on again. It, or something, like, really <laughs> fun. You know, maybe she yeah. was doing, you know, the three little pigs or reading a story. But rocking is so soothing and kind of calming and just a zen moment. So I say all that to say that this is the, from Bliss Hammocks. This is a deluxe foldable rocking chair with a sunshade. This is all about celebrating being outside. Janine Ferrillo, take it away, my dear. Hi, how are you? Hi. 
So we all do love that rocker, but most of the times a rocker is wooden and the wood usually has the bars in the back and it doesn't feel so great. And then you usually get that seat bar right here that pinches the back of your legs yeah. and you're in a rocker when it's nice out. So you're probably in shorts and that really That's doesn't right. feel great. Yeah. So Bliss decided our customers asked us for a rocker, but we were going to bring the most unique, the most comfortable the one of a kind, and that's what you're getting here. So no bars here in the back. It's that sling material we use on our gravity-free chairs that cradles yeah. and contours. No seat 